everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to Hong Kong we're just at the Victoria Peak this is the highest overlooking point mountain peak in Hong Kong but this side what we're on currently is known as Hong Kong Island and the other side is Kowloon the city just over there thank you <gasps> wow we have just come to the Sky Terrace Mall, so this is supposed to give you the best 360 viewing of the whole of the island. Have a look at the view. We've just come back from the Sky Bar and we've got some bubble teas. They're actually so nice. We've got them in the UK as well. So it's like a juice with these bubbles in them. So we've got grape juice with lychee and you've got pomelo, with pomelo juice mango. with mango, mango bubbles. Bubble. This is a bus station where your tram will sort of arrive from when you come to Victoria Peak. It's 15 eggs if anyone ever wonders. And then so these are the beautiful mountains and the gorgeous view that you get and then you just sort of go around and go all the way up there and that is the famous building just up there. We are currently on our way down from Victoria Peak going to the south and the roads are so tight and then they've got these big like two buses going past each other. And but the views are absolutely beautiful. So we just got to this restaurant called the Metropole Restaurant. We are surrounded by like 500 Chinese people. This restaurant was recommended to us by a family friend. So that's the reason we are here at the moment. It's been such like chaos coming in here and finding our seats and finding out how everything works. None of the staff really speak English except for one person. Um, interesting fitness kid though. So we've got some... Um, uh, steamed pork buns. I'm not sure what the white bits are. And then we've got some of these dim sums and some uh, spring rolls. And this is like Chinese tea. And some little tarts. Basically, just a bit of everything. This lady came with a trolley, one of them, and was like, You want this? You want this? And just putting it all on our table. Okay then. you so there's loads of scaffolding going around this area they're using bamboo as scaffolding the whole thing is made of bamboo all the way to the top this is incredible this is nothing you would ever see at home all the way around there as well yeah it's so sweaty and hot 
ignore that. It's so hot. We just got an octopus card. So top tip for anyone who is traveling around in Hong Kong is um, so the MTR is the easiest way to sort of get around. It's uh, basically like the uh, underground in London. So there's it's like oyster basically. But so yeah, this whole thing is very similar to the way that the London underground work, like the tubes, and it's a very similar map as well. There's different lines and everything, and this is basically like an oyster car that you just tap. But it's not called oyster; it's called octopus. For a bit of difference, so yes, yeah. Um, you just basically tap it on the side, and it's sort of a bit self explanatory. And then you've got like the train lines up there. So now we are going over to from the that's an Australia, wow, over Hong Kong Island. We are going from Hong Kong Island to the city center, which is on the other side of the island. So we're gonna go to the market there and see what that part of Hong Kong looks like. underground to the other side of the island. We are now on the Kowloon side, so this is the city known as Hong Kong City. So we are staying over there somewhere I think and that's Victoria Peak, that's where we were earlier today. Or maybe that one, I'm not too sure. This looks so beautiful and it keeps going on all the way around, all the way to the other side, just over there as well. Some really cool hotels over on this side too. Also for anyone who's seen the movie Skyscraper with Dwayne Johnson, uh, these two, I think the movie was, I mean it must have been filmed here, you know, but so if you look on like the cover of the movie and the, there's like a really tall building which I believe is near here somewhere in the movie, it's like a made up building, but these two buildings are also in the movie, I'm not actually sure what they are. Um, maybe they're hotels or just office blocks, but yeah, so those two buildings are also in the movie. We just got up here from those steps on the side and this gives us an even better overlook of the whole island. So beautiful. Please ignore my face. It's so, it's actually so hot. So on the, on the weather forecast it says that it's 31 degrees but it feels like 36. So I think with like the hot wind and everything it feels a lot warmer than it usually is. I don't really understand it but oh. I think it's also really interesting how wherever we go we sort of try to compare the place that we have been to already so I've been comparing this to like London to New York but obviously like it's a complete different city on its own it's nothing like New York it's nothing like London if anything it's a tiny bit like London so Hong Kong was owned by the British or something like that. So that's why quite a few things in Hong Kong are actually quite similar to, oh my god, are quite similar to the way that things are in London. The majority of people that we have come across so far actually do speak English which is quite useful obviously when you're a tourist and you don't speak uh, Chinese. Also wanted to show you these super cool ferries that are going between the two islands. So we are actually going to get on one of these tomorrow or today, not sure. They are called the Star Ferry, so we've got them all over. This one there, this one there as well. And they just basically keep going between the islands. And yeah, you get a really good view, especially if you go at night, in the evening with all the lights. <laughs> We just got these really cool coffees from this place called Arabica. Arabica. So they are well known for having like really good um, quality um, coffee beans. So I'm excited to try these. We are just wandering around in the ladies market in Hong Kong city and so there's so many markets and little stores everywhere around us. They are selling loads of fakes and different things like that. Just um, handbags, belts, sunglasses, shoes, uh, watches, everything like that. And it's really funny because in markets like this you really need to sort of... Um, so let's say that there's a bag that you really like and it's 200 Hong Kong dollars. Haggling, you sort of try and get the price down to as much as you possibly can. So as soon as they can see that you're not that interested, they'll be like, okay, so I'll give it to you for 150, 120, 110. Come on, you give me the price. And it's just so funny because you can sort of like, 
negotiate the price, do whatever you want it to be because there's so many different markets that sell exactly the same thing and they but they want to make sure that you buy theirs. We've got a lot of negotiation going on. We've got bags, handbags, no, 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 no. electronics, Cartier bracelets and all sorts of other Louis Vuitton and things like that. got even more bags we are just at the midnight markets at the moment wow my face is so shiny it's so cool ignore that this is on what street did we say this was temple street temple street so we have shoes we have loads of different things it's basically the same as the other one but this is like a midnight market so it's open from 5 p.m to 11 p.m and Lou's got the watermelon juice. How are they? It's very nice. Same. Yeah, fresh. We have finished our little walk around this island and we are just about to make our way back to to our actual like island, so Hong Kong Island. And let me just show you the beautiful view. It is so beautiful from this side. You can actually see the whole skyline of the island that we are staying on. So this is supposed to be like the, the nice view basically. We've got a pretty ferris wheel over there. This is a, I think that is Bank of China. I'm not too sure. That one. The, that one. Uh, we don't know what that is. And yeah, our hotel is over there somewhere. So we're just going to walk around and get the Star Ferry across to, yes, to the other side. Everyone's on that side. There's still windows here too. No? We were also able to use the octopus card for this uh, star ferry that goes between the two islands, which is really cool. I think the little ferry journey is only like five, ten minutes, and it was like twenty Hong Kong dollars which is two pounds I think so that's really cute isn't it? Oh no two two point seven Hong Kong. So like twenty seven P that's the one. And we are here already that was literally five minutes. Uh this is the wrong time this is UK time but yeah it was literally five minutes We've just got back to our hotel room. We've done a little bit of an outfit change. Well, I have anyway. Just so hot and been wearing like the same thing all day. So we, <laughs> so we are now going to, it's actually like 11 o'clock now, like at night, but we are going to be heading to a little Chinese restaurant for some food. Just like little bites because we are quite hungry. So, so yeah, I hope that's, I uh, hope that's nice. Really don't want to let anyone down who's expecting us to be having like local food the whole time we are here but it has actually come to we are gonna have to eat at McDonald's tonight just because it's midnight and nothing is open at all. Oh, literally this is the only thing that's open. Mission accomplished, we got McDonald's, we got some McFlurries. We also got some fries and a breakfast, uh, what are they called? Or Egg and sausage McMuffins. So we're gonna enjoy them for sure. Good morning, this is day two in Hong Kong. I actually forgot to end the vlog last night because uh, we just had our McDonald's and actually went straight to sleep. This is day two, we are heading to the Buddha today. I think what we are going to do is use the metro just because it's the most convenient way to get there. And it should take like an hour and a half, I think. It's actually not even that far, but it's on the same island as the airport. 
Oh my god, we use stop. <laughs> that is what we are doing today. So we are just heading to the Buddha now and then we've got quite a few more things planned for today. So I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah, see you at the Buddha. must be behind there just because this cable car is running all the way to there. Well, what a first time of um, our first experience in a cable car. This is so cool. I didn't even expect to see such beautiful views. This cable car in Yongping, so this is called Yongping 360, this has been recognized as the coolest cable car uh, and the coolest tourist spot in the whole of Asia. Well, look at that, we have found the Buddha. Let me zoom you in so you can see. The Buddha is just there in the distance. It's actually a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. Thank you. Uh, outside? Inside? Okay, thank you. So we have just come for some lunch in this village. This is the place, it's called Zen Noodle Cafe. The food looks pretty good, so we're just gonna grab some lunch because it's lunchtime just before we go and head up to the Buddha. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <gasps> Our food has just arrived. I'm actually pretty hungry, are you? Yes, I'm starving. So Lewis got some chicken We've got noodles. chicken noodles with vegetables. That's the one, and then I've got some chicken curry. Uh, this is like a chicken katsu curry. I think they, it's a similar one they get from like Wagamama's, but obviously a hundred times better. <laughs> and then some miso soup. I remember having this in Jamaica, but I still don't know what it is. What miso soup? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's actually such like a nice and peaceful walk up to the Buddha. Those mountains are beautiful. The clouds are really quite low down there, so we actually thought for a moment that we won't be able to have a clear view of the Buddha, but we do, luckily. So, welcome to the Big Buddha. We have just arrived here. So, this statue was built between 1990 and they finished constructing it in 1993. So, let's go ahead and start the little walk. We have 260 steps to go, as I just said. So, let's burn those calories that we just had for lunch. <laughs> And the steps are starting. We've got 260 steps of these to go. I think a lot of people are really struggling to get up here. Um, the heat is definitely not helping. It's like 32 degrees and it's super hot, super sunny. There's not really any sort of wind up here either. But yes. <laughs> I really wish this view would show up as well as it does in person, but this is probably the, one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. We have finished our little visit by the Buddha, so it's time to make our way back down. Uh, another 260 steps down. So there's actually like a little building thing sort of under the Buddha that you can go in and sort of visit as well. There's little stands in there that sell like jewellery and little um, souvenirs. And then there's also quite a few boards full of facts and everything. So it basically told you how long it took to build the Buddha and just basically showing you like a structure of what it um, was built on. So it had strong steel structures underneath which they uh, put the material over and then also it showed you how they did like 5,000 drawings beforehand as well as using the Beijing Institute of Astronomy or something to basically make sure that the uh, structure that the Buddha would withstand any sort of weather conditions, any sort of wind and they did different experiments with um, 
with that association to make sure that uh, the Buddha would be strong enough. So yeah. Unfortunately, I wasn't allowed to take any pictures or videos in there, so I wasn't able to do any. The golden Chinese and Japanese uh, building just over there is called the Grand Tour of 10,000 Buddhas, which we are just on our way to see and have a closer look what it looks like. We thought we weren't allowed to come in here just because of the gates on this side and there were guards on either side so we weren't quite sure but we've just walked through this beautiful building and now we are just here. This looks absolutely beautiful and I think you can go inside there as well. So I think we overheard some people say that this is a mixture of Chinese and Japanese just because of the style of the buildings like for example the roof it goes slightly up so that's a sign that it's a Japanese building. So this is a temple that we could see the roof of um, all the way when we were by the Buddha and there's different monks in there, about 10 monks doing different um, sorts of rituals that's part of their daily sort of um, religion I believe, I'm not sure. I wish I could show you but there's no photo signs on the sign so I can't show you unfortunately. And But yeah, you can hear them sing, pray and it's quite interesting to see. from visiting the Big Buddha. I actually took up like the whole day of us being there just because um, it took quite a while to get there and then quite a while to get back as well and everything so we are currently on our way to go for dinner. We have found this really good restaurant. It's got really good ratings and everything and it's like the top, I think it's like top 11 Top 5 Chinese. Uh, top 5 Chinese uh, in Hong Kong. <laughs> We have just finished having our dinner and it was so lovely so now we are on our way to have some dessert. Look at this cozy, it looks so good. <laughs> Oh my god, look at that one! We've got a fruit loop cone with a salted caramel and a waffle is that? There's cake batter. Cake batter, oh my god, you've got cake batter. Unreal. I've just got an Oreo one. We just got back to our hotel room and I'm going to be ending the vlog right here just because it's actually getting quite late. I think it's quarter past 11 and we are going to be getting an early night because we've got so many things planned for tomorrow which you will be seeing in tomorrow's vlog. So this will be two separate vlogs but you'll see that anyway. We've got loads of things planned for tomorrow but we are also going home tomorrow so tomorrow is going to be our last day which is a bit of a shame because we've only really had three days here but then we have actually done so much like all the things that we have done by tomorrow we would have done everything so that's the main thing and we've had a great time also for anyone asking my necklace here is my um initial so it's the letter e and i got this from olivia sales if you look her up on instagram i'm going to be putting her instagram link just on the bottom here as well so make sure you check her out she also sells the bag that i always always have with me like the black see-through bag so yes have a look and tell her that I sent you there so anyways thank you so so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure that you follow me on Instagram and I will see you in my next video bye <laughs> and it is something tall, 34 meters 34 meters 34 meters 250 metric tons and it's how many 250. The other one. 34 meters. Wait, do you get a cable car? <laughs> <laughs> this cable car service is actually cable car service. That's not a thing. We've just got our octopus mm. cards. Did you do that? <laughs> oh, the, 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 oh, the, okay, cool.